It looks like just yesterday we were here reviewing a matte foundation that was absorbing sweat. Today we are here to review a hydrating foundation that's claiming to keep you as moisturized as possible. But before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, my name is Ahema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. It's very interesting to me that foundations come in several different shapes, sizes, finishes, and you could literally find a foundation to match your exact skin type or skin problem or whatever it is you're trying to address. Now, today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new, actually it's not brand new anymore, but I literally just got my hands on it, the Patrick Ta Foundations. They're called Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundations. These foundations went insanely viral. Everything I I will be using in today's video will be tagged right here so definitely check that view products tag if it's not there i will link it down below in the description let's go ahead and jump into this foundation first things first this foundation retails for 58 dollars it's a radiant finish foundation with hyaluronic acid in it that's supposed to help plump and hydrate your skin. So if you're somebody who has dry skin, normal skin, but you want that more luminous, luscious, uh, hydrated skin, they're saying this is the foundation for you. It's also marketed as a serum foundation, which means it's going to be lightweight. It's going to mimic your skin. It's going to blend in and absorb beautifully and just have you looking like that's how you woke up. It's a medium finish foundation. It's a V again there are 30 shades and it's also saying that if you have combination skin you can use it i have oily skin so i'm not going to judge this product too harshly when it comes to oil control because the whole point of this specific foundation is to give the skin a nice glowy luminous look to it i naturally have you know glass skin so i'm not going to expect this product to control any kinds of oils but I do want to know if it's going to give me that gorgeous hydrated look like you know what i'm saying this is the packaging that has had everybody in a chokehold plate on top of it classic patrick ta chrome we have three shades we have 29 28 and 27 the deepest shade after 29 is shade number 30 so i'm very interested in seeing you know what we can get out of this let's start out with the shade number 29 29 is described as a rich red foundation i like to just give all the foundations a bit of a shake before we swatch it Ooh, okay it's very fluid and shade number 29 is gorgeous almost matches the foundation that we literally just tried during the sephora sale i picked up the shade 28 golden and I, i'm not gonna put a lot because it's very fluid mm. okay so this is a shade that i thought would be a good tone for me a little depth in the golden tone would have been you know what i mean but a lot of you love telling me that I need to go lighter on my foundation. So I guess this is your lucky day. I will be trying out the golden one. Golden is too bright on the skin. Golden. But before we do that, I need to reapply mine. The e.l.f. lip oils. They are so hydrating. And they're technically not a lip oil. They're more like a lip balm. And they're just, they're so hydrating. I feel like for marketing purposes, they said lip oil. But it's actually a lip balm. It's absolutely stunning. Okay. This is a little bit of that foundation tad brighter on my skin tone. And I'm just afraid that it doesn't match the deeper parts too well. But I am I am willing to try. Now, I have a natural glass skin called oily skin. And this is going to be my glowy, hydrating, moisturizing foundation routine. First things first, I'm going in with a moisturizer to help hydrate and plump up the skin. Skin. of course i'm gonna let this dry down for a few seconds and yes i'm reaching for the one size secure the blur primer it goes with everything <laughs> just make sure i 
apply some on my under eyes as well okay with this product being a luminous finish foundation i'm going in with the lys translucent setting powder this is one of the newest setting powders on the market i'm just going to use it to mattify my face concentrating more on my face <laughs> i was going to say my t-zone but my whole entire face does get oily so we're not going to set this foundation up for failure we're going in with our concealer first oh and i reached for the wrong concealer okay shade number 28 i'm doing Doing this for you 28 golden this is a very fluid foundation this is one pump <gasps> look at it go it is like sliding down my face sliding down I'm gonna blend it in with a brush okay we're just gonna pat it in because of how we prepped our skin patting it in is the best way to go Ooh. okay it is gorgeous it's like disappeared into my skin okay i definitely thought shade number 28 was going to be my shade but i was a bit worried about what it was actually gonna look like i'm blending some into my hairline because i need to cover my um it's literally brought all the glow back to my skin it made my skin go back to looking glowy without it looking crazy this is the side that i prepped with the powder and everything it's looking very natural very hydrated very very i've been drinking my water mm -hmm, mm -hmm. listen i've been on top of my skincare i've been drinking my water and i've been minding my business and that's why my skin is glowy like this i cannot teach you how to get this skin you know all i can tell you is drink your water exercise mind your business and you know your skin will generally naturally glow like mine also you have to buy my brand new multivitamin pack and that's how you get this gorgeous glowy skin thank you for coming to my ted talk i have admired this foundation enough let's go on the other side with the same shade 28 golden glowy when you first put it on it definitely dries down a bit because as you can see it's already started doing like a slight mattifying natural finish I have never seen my face this bright with a foundation. It's a bit jarring, especially when I put my hands next to my face. I'm like, ah! We're using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. So I'm setting it, then I'll finish my whole entire makeup look. And we'll come back to see what it looks like. Hey guys, this is my finished look using the Patrick Ta Hydra Lux Luminous Foundation. I feel like this shade is entirely too bright for my skin tone because it's literally made my face look one-dimensional. Even my contour, like I didn't want to intensify my contour too much. It's very bright on my skin tone. I am a bit self-conscious because I don't generally wear my makeup this bright. And when I compare it to my hands, my face is entirely too bright and I don't like that look. And it's also a bit too bright compared to my neck. I would rather my face had like a balance in the shades and when i pull down my shirt however it looks like it matches my chest my whole entire face matches my chest the fact that i have the shade 29 that's the shade i'm going to start using that's going to be the shade that gives me a better balance in skin tone so if you use me as just as a shade reference and you like our regular gorgeous deep chocolate color that matches the back of our hands and also our neck go with the shade number 29 if you use me as your shade reference and you like a brighter face than i generally like then definitely go with shade number 28 this product is a very luminous finish product my face is definitely looking very much hydrated it looks like i've been wearing this product for a couple of hours if you want oily girl and you want to use this product i will suggest that you walk around with a blotting powder in your purse that way you can touch up let me know down below in the comments what you think shade number 28 or shade number 29 let me know down below in the comments which shade you vote for thank you so much for watching let me know down below in the comments how patrick todd did on this foundation if you're an oily skin girly you can use this just follow the steps that i laid out if you're not an oily skin girly enjoy this gorgeous foundation bye i can't even bring my hand close to my face anyway